Hey guys, welcome to this lesson and in this lesson I'll be talking about the key differences between that of analog signal and digital signal. So it is really important from the examination point of view. So let's start. So the first difference is analog system processes analog signal and digital system process digital signal. Let me give you a very simple example about analog system and digital signal system. You all have seen thermometer. So in the thermometer, you see there are two types of thermometer. One is that which has scales like, uh, like same that of our scales, and the other in is one that gives numeric values like ninety eight degree, ninety seven degree, and so on. And there is another is analog that gives ninety eight point one, ninety eight point two, and so on. So that is analog signal system versus digital signal system. Okay. So within the thermometer also there are two types of system that is analog system and digital system. Now let's give another difference between analog system and digital system. You have seen watch, analog watch and digital watch. What does digital watch do? It gives 10, 40 like this. Okay. Whereas analog signal gives with the help of those sticks like a structure. They give time uh, with the hand shapes. Okay. So that is the difference between that of analog signal system and digital system. Now it takes values in a range. For instance, if you see that thermometer, it can give temperature of 98.1, 98.2, 98.3. Within that point also, we can see further classification. Okay, but then if you talk about digital signal, it takes limited number of values. Let's say if it gives values, it just gives 98, 97 like this. Okay, in centigrade, then 36, 37, and so on. Okay, so analog system. Signal signal has wide range of values, whereas compared to digital signal, it has limited values. And like, what does digital signal text is zero and one? It operates or let's say it stores value in the form of zero and one, whereas it is not as the case of analog signal. So let's see another difference: more affected by noise and less affected by noise. So I'll give an example. I think nowadays everyone in the house has DTH uh, TV television, okay? But before we used to have analog television. And what happens is, analog in the past there was to be frequent disturbance in television. But nowadays, with the help of digital signals, DTH set a box, very few only disturbance occur in our television okay so that is the key difference between analog signal and digital signal analog is more affected by noise whereas digital is less affected by noise consumes less bandwidth analog signal definitely consumes less bandwidth whereas digital signal consumes more bandwidth what does it mean is it requires less bandwidth for transmission this one and this requires high bandwidth for transmission okay now next difference High power and low power. Digital signal consumes much more low power than compared to as that of analog signal. And this one, information is stored in the form of wave signal. Like this is sine wave and this is how the information is stored. Whereas in digital signal, information is stored in the form of binary bits. This is a square wave and this represents 1, this represents 0. Okay, This one, 0. This one, 0 and so on. In this type of signal, the values can go from below zero also okay it can go like this also but if this goes below this point it is not digital signal it will be analog signal so in digital signal the main difference is the value cannot go below zero it has to always be up within or above zero okay if it goes below zero it will be analog signal so i'll just tell you some my knowledge about this Whatever we speak, that is analog signal. In the past, like if someone used to call me in the telephone, I used to speak, then my like voice used to be in the form of sound wave. Then after it used to be in the converted, or let's say it used to be in the form of radio waves, and then it used to be transferred, and then again at the receiver end, it used to convert in, in the sound wave and someone used to hear. But nowadays we use digital signals for such processing. Whenever I speak, it goes in the form of digital signals. So now there is less disturbance and definitely it is much easier for transmission, okay, compared to as that of analog signal. So like you can see so many differences, like in if you talk about watch, thermometer, 
and everything is now being digitalized even our television is uh, being changed to, to digital form so that is the key differences between analog signal and digital signal so that's all thank you and if you like my video please subscribe my channel and thank you